Hello YouTube, I wanted to do a review really fast of this awesome little rickshaw koozie case that I picked up. And of course, you know, if you get the koozie case, you have to get like the three pin koozie as well, right? So I'm not gonna lie, I have more of these coming. Um, thanks a lot, rickshaw. Yeah, so feeding the addict in all of us when it comes to the deep rabbit hole that is fountain pens. Which, I mean, these things could actually be used probably for other things besides fountain pens, but that's what this one's used for, right? So this one is pretty awesome. It is the Starry Night, which I absolutely love. I loved it in art class. It was one of my favorite paintings whenever I was younger and I was taking art in school. It has this cool little pocket here um, that you can put stuff in. This one has like a little notebook little toy river passport size notebook in it and it also has this which is a hint to something else that's inside here yeah if you're familiar with uh, Scotland or yarn um, or fine fibers this is Harris Tweed so I will show you what's inside of this little thing here my husband helped me get this and I was very excited because I've been wanting some of this for a long time. So I have a lot of pins in here, so we're just gonna start taking them out. I don't have all of my pin cases, um, my koozies. So for right now, I have a lot of loose pins in this thing, but I have them positioned in such a way that they don't, <laughs> they don't rub up against one another because I'm very um, particular that way. So, <laughs> This thing, the inside of it is blue, and it's got a lot of room, and it's got this case here, which is the Harris Tweed. So, I'll fill you in about Harris Tweed. So, Harris Tweed, it says, the orb mark is your guarantee of genuine Harris Tweed cloth. It's uh, protected by the 1993 Harris Tweed Act of Parliament. Harris Tweed must be made from 100% pure new wool dyed, spun, hand-woven at the home of the weaver and finished in the outer uh, Hebrides of Scotland, I think is how that's said. It's probably butchered because of my American accent. Um, but basically that's what this is. It's, uh, it's, it's just, it's a fine fiber, it's a wool, um, and it's, it's gorgeous. I really like it. So this little guy basically holds your pins this one is the three pin in a size large just to give you an idea there's quite a bit of room in here when I fold this back so in, in here to I actually have to kind of push this up from the bottom because it is a shorter pin I have a venue uh, venue talisman mandrake which is one of my favorite pins ever um, I don't know why I did not give Benny a try earlier. I just thought they were flashy and gimmicky, and I thought, surely the nibs have to be crap. But I have to admit, this is probably one of the best broad nibs I have. And as you can see on this table, I have some pretty expensive pins. Um, and this one is a really, really good broad for a steel nib. So um, in here, I also have a... Esterbrook Esty. This is a new pin that I recently picked up. And this is just to give you guys kind of an idea of the sizes that will fit into here. And this one is also one of my very, very favorite pins. This was my first ever Franklin Kristoff that my husband got me for my birthday. And it is hands down one of my favorite pins. It also has a very, very well-tuned broad steel nib. So if you have not checked them out, definitely give Franklin Kristoff some love. Uh, they make great pins. As you can see, I literally have one, two, and three other ones. And um, that's just from, sadly, this year. Um, and I also have a VP. And this is my uh, Pelican M600. And this is another pin that does not get enough love. My Kuwaiko Dia. Great, great pin. Um, high quality. The nib is uh, outstanding. I think I have a little something on the side of it there. I was trying to get off. Great pin. And you can actually tell, this is not a pin review, but you can actually tell, look how similar those kind of look. 
even in size. Awesome. Yeah. And this one's a lot cheaper. Now, you're not going to get a gold nib. You can buy a gold nib for this pen, but it's cheaper. And it's, it's an outstanding, outstanding du uh, double broad on that thing. So, basically, the way that this koozie case, back to the koozie case, because I, you know, get sidetracked. Um, <laughs> Uh, the koozie case is meant to hold these little guys, okay? And if you're not familiar with this system and the way that it works, you can check it out on Rickshaw's Instagram. Rickshaw. Uh, they have their own Instagram. And they also have a website. I'm not sure if they're on Facebook or not. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, on their Instagram, they show you how this works. But I can kind of give you a little bit of a rundown. So this is the three one this holds three pins. It's pretty simple. They also sell this in a two pin and then a one pin. So basically the way that the system works is that when you have pins loaded into this, you have these little divots right here that my fingers are running down into. And you can kind of see it. If I tilt it up a little bit, you can kind of see these little divots impressions right here. So if you get a two pin koozie, then what it's, what's gonna happen is that they're gonna lay perfectly because you're gonna have two pins. So one pin's gonna lay here, the other pin's gonna lay here, and this part of it is gonna be right here. So you sandwich them together. So you can have a three, a two, and then like another three. Um, so that's like, you know, you're gonna have three pins here, then you can have two, and then you can have another three pin. Um, so that's nine pins right there. And then you can also, when you put this in there, you can fit the single pin koozies on either side. So you're gonna literally have 12 pins in this thing right here. And then you can still put your little notebook or whatever you want to in the front. And it's perfect. It's the great little, it's the greatest thing to take into a, like put into a bag or to take with you. Um, I'm someone who loves to take pins when I go places, even if I don't plan on using them. I I insist on taking some of my favorite pins everywhere I go. Um, why else would I carry my backpack, right? So you can kind of see, you know, just in comparison to my hand, it fits right on my hand. Um, it is rather large, but not too big. It's good enough to where it fits into a bag and it's not too thick it's just a really good size and I mean you could use these things for other stuff too you know if you don't want to use them for pins I mean you could use them for anything really you could put lip gloss in them lipstick in them um, notebooks you know keep a couple of uh, field notes stuffed in there with maybe a pin on the side so like if you have a lot of field notes and you want to have one for like your work and one for home or whatever and then like a single pin you could even do something like that. It's very versatile. And on his website, uh, the cool thing about it is that you can actually get some of these with like a, um, oh shoot, uh, my husband just picked one up. I think it has like the thing on the front where you can attach Velcro stuff to it. Um, so there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with these. And they had come in different colors, different patterns. Uh, some of them cost more than others because of the material that they're made out of, but you cannot go wrong with Rick Shaw and the quality. I have more than I would like to admit of their products. I have like, let's see, one, two, uh, three, I have like four or five of just the pen rolls. Um, it's awful. <laughs> Just send Rick Shaw my paycheck, you know. <laughs> and um, I, I got recently, my husband helped me pick up uh, some of his other special ones. One of them is a Koi, and it's gorgeous. Um, so they have some that are like specialty ones that you have to like order. Um, and those are gorgeous. They're made out of certain types of material and things like that. But you just can't go wrong. I've never had anything with bad stitching or bad quality. Um, when I've ordered from Rickshaw, and I, I just don't think that they can be beat. The inside of this also has almost like a little bit of a cushion 
it feels like a little foam or something in there so that way it protects everything and then of course inside of here is what they what they call the royal plush uh, fabric and it is so soft um, so it really protects your pins because let's face it um, not all of these are are cheap so you want to protect your investment especially if you're taking it places with you so check them out uh, rickshaw and I, I can't say enough good things about them when I get my other ones I'll try to do another review and show you some of the other designs um, and things that they offer so be on the lookout for that and thank you so much for watching have a good day